Welcome back, everybody. This is Glockman4519. I am back with another ROM overview. Uh, this one here is Crexus. Um, uh, this is one of those request uh, videos. Uh, there are a couple people out there that uh, do watch my videos that um, actually like a stock-based ROM. Uh, and this is a really, really good running stock-based ROM for the Nexus 6. So uh, if you are one of those that like um, to stick close to stock Google um, or stock AOSP, um, then this is definitely uh, a good ROM to choose. Uh, I will tell you that <clears throat> I am running, whoops, let me go back here to about phone. Um, I'm running Health Core uh, kernel on this uh, only because uh, I'm not sure what the kernel that comes with it, um, whether or not, you know, force encrypting or anything like that. Uh, although it is uh, AOSP, um, I'm not sure. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm just, I only flashed Hell's Core uh, just to be on the safe side. Um, and it's working great. Uh, also, uh, this um, version of Hell's Core is um, SE Linux permissive. Um, although, if you go into developer options, and you scroll all the way down to the bottom, I'm pretty sure... Nope, that was a different one. Never mind. Uh, I was all screwed up there. Anyways, uh, this is your uh, development options. Uh, as you can see, it has an advanced reboot uh, section there that you can turn on, uh, kind of like Cyanogen mod. Um, so that's a nice feature. Uh, of course, you have your Android debugging. Uh, all of that, uh, scroll on down, you're going to get into your animations uh, right there. And, of course, you have your multi-window mode. Uh, you can turn that on if you guys use multi-window. Uh, again, guys, remember, this is not going to have a lot of uh, custom settings because, um, again, this is a very stock-built ROM. Um, it's just built more uh, on the smooth side uh, for... Uh, battery life and um, just general day-to-day -day usage. Uh, this is definitely a daily driver ROM. Um, I didn't want to do the video until after I ran it a couple days. I've had it on my phone for, well, it, this is actually going on the third day and it is very, very reliable. Uh, no reboots, um, no lockups, no stuttering, no lag, no nothing. It's, it's that good. Um, although I am not a big fan of stock, you know, builds uh, per se, um, it is definitely a, uh, a winner. So uh, that was the developer options. Um, this would be the, the uh, security settings. This is what you have under security. Um, basic, you know, uh, AOSP or uh, stock look to it. Uh, you can encrypt your phone if you want. Uh, you have your d uh, device administrators, your unknown sources. Make sure that you guys, uh, that you tick that on if you are going to uh, sideload any apps uh, or install any apps from your SD card or, excuse me, from your internal storage or even uh, a, a USB OTG SD card. Uh, you're going to want to have that turned on. Uh, and then, of course, all the way at the bottom, you do have your screen pinning. Just in case you have any kids and you want to hand them your phone, uh, that does that feature is uh, uh, comes in handy for that. Um, above that, uh, we have. Uh, I'm just trying to think uh, of settings that I can go through to show you guys. Um, of course, here 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 are are your system UI settings. Um, you can pick and choose the items or the icons you want to show on your status bar. Uh, this is where you're going to do that at. Uh, let's see, uh, here are your quick settings menu, um, although you can't see it because of the theme I'm running, uh, if you actually, uh, click the add button, <laughs> if I can find it, uh, I think it's right here, oh, here, there it is, uh, that's what's left, um, this is what it looks like after it's set up, I don't know why it's got that big blue screen on it. Uh, it's probably uh, something I did uh, on a color choice. Um, this theme is really, really cool. That is the only, that is the one and only uh, thing on this theme 
that really looks screwed up is that part of it. Um, but I will show you what this, this theme is, too, uh, when we're done here. Um, those are your quick settings. Uh, believe me, guys, if you don't have a theme installed, um, it'll look just like, well, it'll be white with black letter, and you'll be able to read it. Uh, let's see. Uh, show clock and date. Of course, you have um, your uh, alignment for your... Um, they do give you that uh, choice uh, to go with a center clock if you want, uh, and then your date, date format, stuff like that. Uh, battery, uh, you know, you can choose to run it, run it, or not run it if you don't want. Uh, then, of course, you have your nav bar, uh, and basically what that is is it just gives you your nav bar height. You could pick and choose from that. That's pretty much it for system UI. So, you know, a couple custom features. At least they give you the uh, option to go with a center clock, and, and I do like that. Uh, sound and notifications. Uh, I do have all mine completely. I have actually none for ringtone and, and uh, notification. I don't want to take any chances of getting an uh, email or a message. And uh, for those of you that are wearing uh, earphones, I don't want to blow your eardrums out. Uh, these are your other sound settings. And then, of course, under that's going to be your notification. If you want your pulse notification light, charging battery light, uh, you can choose that. Um, uh, you limit your notification frequencies. Uh, then again, then you have your app notification access um, underneath there. And then all the way at the bottom, you have your do not disturb access. Uh, next up would be display. Um, pretty much, you know, again, stock. Um, you don't really see anything out of the ordinary here. Uh, you do have the press power button twice for the camera, your daydream, ambient display, uh, you know, your double tap to wake if you guys want to use that. Uh, and then all the way at the bottom, you have your uh, volume rocker wake. And that is it, guys. Um, I do want to show you the theme I'm running with this. Uh, I decided to go with a really light, uh, more of a stock look theme. Uh, this theme is called Outline. Uh, what I liked about it is you could pick some colors on it. And, uh, of course, I went, I should have went with a darker color so you could see the background of some of the settings. Uh, but it's really cool because what it does is like that. You see how the marshmallow is up here on the top? Well, that's how it, do, that's how it makes the uh, settings look like. Um, and I really wish they had better pictures of this um, to give you guys a better idea of what it looks like. Uh, if I go into my drop down, as you guys can see, uh, all the icons are just outlines. And that's hence the name of the theme, Outlines. Uh, it's, I, I think it's actually pretty cool. It's different. Um, I think System UI is turned on by default. Yeah, it is. Yep. Uh, let's see here. And, of course, you guys can see how the icons look uh, under the system settings um, and the, uh, the tab view. Uh, that's how I have mine set up. Uh, I'm not sure if it does, yes, contacts. Uh, that's how it does your contacts, uh, favorites. Um, I will go, I will show you the dialer. That's what the dialer looks like, uh, and as you guys can see, my um, no, or my uh, uh, status bar icons up the top, uh, they are themed as well, um, as is the uh, nav bar uh, icons at the bottom. Um, I did notice uh, that the like if you go to the Play Store, uh, you notice how the colors that I picked, I picked a blue, uh, like a sky blue, and uh, I think some red in there. But even on here, the, the icons here are all with that outline look. Uh, so it does definitely theme it. Uh, it. It's a deep theme. It goes, you know, th pretty much through uh, most of your apps that you have on here, especially the Google apps. Now, I'm not so sure about uh, Google+. Plus. Uh, yeah, actually, yes, it does. Uh, 
I'm trying to think here of maybe some other ones. Uh, I don't know about Hangouts. Actually, it did. Um, I think maybe Calculator. We can check that. If I can find it. Wow. Uh, this ROM does not have a calculator. That is odd. <laughs> so I'll have to download a uh, Google calculator. Uh, anyways, the uh, icons I'm using on this uh, theme, well, the icons I'm using today uh, are called Dark Stroke. Uh, they're actually a really nice set of icons. Uh, I've, I purchased these icons quite a while ago, uh, and they just never seem to go out of style. I, I like the color. Uh, it's a really deep, rich color to it. Color tones are... Uh, sort of dark, but they're rich, um, and they have that like dark edge uh, outline to them. Uh, I think it just it gives them a touch of class. Uh, three minute battery mod does not work with this ROM. Uh, I'll tell you guys that right now. Uh, so if you do want it, uh, you might you're going to want to head over to the XDA uh, thread for the three minute battery mod um, and ask those guys over there if they can uh, make you up a zip. Uh, they would be more than happy to do that for you. Uh, I will. Uh, I'll give you a link to my Google Plus uh, community, uh, and I have a link to the uh, Nexus 6 3-Minute Battery Mod thread um, in my community. So just hop on over there. Uh, you can pick up uh, that link and a lot of other links as well. Well, guys, that's pretty much it for Crexus. Uh, again, this is the latest build. Um, in case you didn't see it earlier, uh, this is for the Nexus 6, uh, 601, uh, security patch April 2nd, uh, and this is uh, <clears throat> build Friday, uh, April the 4th, uh, like I said, I, or actually it's April the 8th, excuse me, and like I said, I've actually had time to run it uh, for a couple days now, uh, this is going on the third day, and it is running very, very well. Uh, so again, guys, if you like uh, a stock-based ROM, uh, you cannot go wrong with Crexus. Uh, I'd just like to thank all my, uh, all my subs, uh, and I will see you guys on the next one.